I'm Jim Clements, president of Clemson University. Congratulations to all of our 2020 doctoral graduates. I know that your doctoral career at Clemson did not end the way that any of us had planned, and I'm sorry that you cannot join us in person for the hooding ceremony. But the difficult circumstances that we face this year does not take anything away from the incredible accomplishment of completing your doctoral degree. I am proud of you, and I applaud your hard work, your commitment, and your dedication to completing your degree, especially through these challenging times. It is important to recognize the contributions that you've made through your research and your scholarship that is driving innovation, generating new ideas, and expanding the knowledge base of Clemson and the world. We face many challenges as a society, perhaps more now than ever, and the world needs highly educated people like you to help tackle those challenges and to help make the world an even better place. We are counting on you to use what you learned here at Clemson to make a difference. And because I cannot say this to you in person, I want to say it to you now. By the authority vested in me by the Clemson University Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the doctoral degree with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto, and as testimony thereof, you have received a diploma of the university. Congratulations and go Tigers! Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. No matter where in the world you are right now, welcome to the 2020 virtual celebration of our doctoral graduates. It's easy to be joyful today because we're so very proud of you. Of course, we wish we could celebrate with all of you in person, but we mustn't let that disappointment overshadow your tremendous accomplishments this year. We knew you were made for this challenge and many others. You've thrived in the unknown. You've been resilient and intolerant to failure. Given the circumstances, no one would have thought less of you if you had coasted to the finish line. But instead, you sprinted right through it after running a marathon. And you did this in a pandemic, which is all the more impressive. That you've earned a doctorate makes you a statistical outlier. When you earned it and how you earned it makes you very special indeed. I'll be back with some fun news at the end of this video, but in the meantime, we have some special guests who want to congratulate you and wish you well. Hello and welcome doctoral graduates of 2020. My sincere congratulations to all of you for wonderful achievements. I remember distinctly this very moment in my life, and I hope you, like I did, enjoy a well-deserved celebration of this important milestone with your family and friends. Your hard work and sacrifice and support from colleagues and family brought you to this significant point in time, and you should be exceedingly proud of your accomplishment, a doctorate. When you began your journey, I'm sure you did not dream of the circumstances you were to face in 2020. The pandemic has added challenges to our daily lives that no one could have imagined. But it has also taught us lessons about ourselves and our society and how we contribute to the success of our communities. In terms of ourselves, a doctoral degree requires a person to dig deep into their inner selves to find the energy and determination to succeed and learn how to do that again and again later in life. In terms of our society, there becomes a purpose for the abilities you have gained. Giving back and helping others is going to become a major part of your life if it's not already. As a land-grant institution, Clemson understands and instills our commitment to our communities and our goals and our mission and that has been a part of your educational experience. I challenge you to take that commitment seriously. Apply it in your next job, in your next challenge, to make a difference for others. And please know that your Clemson family is proud of your achievements, and we look forward to seeing your future success, not just measured in your advancements and personal accomplishments, but also in the way you create knowledge solve problems and inspire others. Congratulations, doctoral graduates, on your massive accomplishment. Life is full of hurdles and thresholds. You have just passed a hurdle and crossed a threshold most people never do. If you're anything like me, you will be experiencing many different emotions right now. But take a moment to savor your accomplishment. And as you go on with your lives, Never forget what you endured 
and how you felt. Use that memory to show empathy for others, both those who are going through what you just did, as well as those who have no idea and never will. Congratulations again and go Tigers. Hello, I'm Leslie Hosfeld. I'm Dean of the College of Behavioral, Social and Health Sciences at Clemson University. And I'm delighted to be congratulating you on this incredible, incredible milestone in your academic career. I remember many, many moons ago when I defended my dissertation and the joy and the excitement and the um, happiness uh, sharing that with my committee, my mentors, my department, my family. I know these are the feelings you have right now too, because this is such a, such a major accomplishment. One thing I think we forget when we're at university, because we're always around people with PhDs and uh, talking about doctoral work, is that actually there are very few um, PhDs in the nation. We have about 4% of the US population has a doctoral degree. So this is an accomplishment on so many levels. So I, I hope you know that and, and share in our pride and joy for you and all that you have done to get to this point. I am uh, thankful that you've taken the journey with us at Clemson University. I appreciate what you do to make Clemson University shine. And we look forward to following your career and I know just the days ahead are going to be very exciting. Thank you again and well done. Congratulations. Congratulations on completing your doctoral program within the College of Agriculture, Forestry and Life Sciences. Like all of my colleagues, I would much rather be saying that in person. But as with your final year of your degree, we must all adapt if we're going to thrive under the circumstances we find ourselves enduring. To have completed your studies under such conditions just shows how driven and passionate you are about your chosen career path. We're counting on you to be the scientists, managers, and leaders of the future. We are so very proud of you for your efforts and your success. I know our future is bright because I know we have students and now graduates like you. So congratulations again on behalf of the College of Agriculture, Forestry, and Life Sciences. Please stay connected with us and visit often. You are and forever will be part of the CAFLS family. Go Tigers. Congratulations, Clemson University doctoral students. This has not been an easy path and you are to be commended for your significant accomplishments today. Clearly, you have demonstrated grit, resolve, and brilliance. I mean, you are graduating from Clemson University, a world-class land-grant research institution with world-class faculty. Going forward, I wish you all the best and all success, and ask that you use your research to improve and enhance the lives of others. So in the meantime, enjoy today. Enjoy this significant accomplishment. We are so proud of you. Congratulations and go Tigers. Congratulations, graduates. You've worked hard and have achieved something that few ever do. You earned a master's or doctorate degree from Clemson University. I hope that Clemson Libraries had some small part in your success, whether it be providing information or assistance or even just study space. No matter what the future holds, whether it be more graduate study or a great job, I know that you'll go on to accomplish amazing things. We're proud of you. Always remember your friends, colleagues, and supporters, both at the libraries and at Clemson University. Congratulations, College of Science doctoral candidates. I am so proud of each and every one of you. You know, the really great thing about getting a PhD in, in science is that you're gonna help make people's lives better, people that you've never met. You're gonna tackle some of tomorrow's greatest challenges. And for those of you going into academia, you're gonna help prepare the next generation of scientists. So stay in touch, make sure you circle back to your research advisor and to your department chair and to your dean. And on behalf of everyone, congratulations. Hello everyone. On behalf of the College of Engineering, Computing and Applied Sciences, let me congratulate each one of you. We are proud of your accomplishments and how you have navigated during these most challenging of times. I am positive that each one of you will be an exceptional ambassador of your discipline, this college, and Clemson University. We wish you great success as you embark on your new career, and we will continue to applaud your achievements and take great pride in knowing that your Clemson education had a small role in your success. 
And with that said, go Tigers! Hello, I'm Wendy York. I'm the Dean of the Wilbur O. and Ann Powers College of Business. I want to take this moment to congratulate you on getting your PhD. It's hard enough to get a PhD anyway, but then you've done it in the middle of a global pandemic. So kudos to you, congratulations, and go Tigers. I wanted to begin with a quote that has had a huge impact on my life. Caitlin, you'll never be in the WNBA. It's not because you can't shoot, though you can't, and it's not because you can't jump, though you can't. It's because you're five foot two and three quarters. My father, Robert Louis Sandons. As you can tell, my family was exceptionally practical and pushed me to reach for the stars as long as the stars meant applying for positions where being a minimum of six feet tall wasn't a requirement. And Clemson has taught me that practicality doesn't necessarily mean staunching your dreams. See, Clemson changes who you are. It changes how you look at the color orange. It changes how you see the word stripes. It gives you a much more comprehensive understanding as to why engineers always look so tired. But most importantly, Clemson has taught me not to play it safe and practical all the time. If education here at Clemson has taught me anything, it is that I must follow my curiosities. You don't have to be great in everything you do. You have to work towards being happy with the person that you're constantly evolving into. So let's all take a moment to reflect and promise ourselves that we will continue to grow, learn, and to be curious because that's how we get to be the best version of ourselves. And that's how we can change the world. I hope you can see and hear and feel the pride we take in your success. To honor your accomplishment this year, we've produced a special issue lapel pin for Clemson's 2020 doctoral graduates. You can wear it proudly for many years to come, knowing that only those who shared your accomplishment this year can wear that pin. If you earned a doctorate in 2020, but missed the November hooding ceremony, please visit clemson.edu backslash clemson docs and tell us where to send yours. Remember that no matter what path you take, you have a responsibility to continue to broaden the boundaries of our knowledge, to challenge yourself and to mentor others. You are no longer bystanders. You are agents of change. As you move on to do this important work, we ask that you remember that your journey took you through Clemson University. I promise, we'll remember you. Congratulations, and go Tigers!